guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Monday, July 31st, 2023. Welcome to another eBay video. I have two topics I would like to discuss tonight. One is positive and one is negative. And when we get to the negative part, I got to try really hard not to lose my cool because this is the kind of thing that triggers me. But first I want to show you something that I found intriguing. And I really wasn't even going to make a video today. But when I came across this, it kind of brought a smile to my face. This is my buyer requirements activity log. And as you know, like many of you, I automatically block all buyers who have more than, I believe it's two, unpaid item strikes. I automatically block them. Now, I want to show you how many deadbeat bidders this eBay feature has snagged just this month alone before they even got to me. So keep your eye on the screen. All right? This only goes back a month. Look at them, just one after the other. Now we go to the next page. I've got more. Now, what I'd like to point out to you guys, every one of these buyers has too many unpaid item strikes, as you can see, meaning a minimum of two, but probably a lot more. Now, let's look at this clown right here. He has a feedback score of three, many unpaid item strikes, and yet he's got 100% feedback. This is a very good example of how the feedback system is broken on eBay and totally favors the buyers. This clown could well have 30 or 40 unpaid item strikes and we'll never know. All right? But yet he's got that 100% feedback. So that's part A of the video. What I'd like you guys to do, if you don't mind, when you have a chance, is go to your buyer requirements, which is right here, okay? Just scroll down, all right? And just click on buyer management. And please, if you don't mind, let us know how many buyers were excluded just this month for having too many unpaid item strikes. Now let's move on to the next topic, which is really triggering me. And if I lose it, I lose it. Okay, let's go to shipping preferences. I am enrolled, as you can see, in the new international eBay shipping program, which is exactly what I want. I have no countries excluded meaning I'm willing to ship anywhere, correct? Okay, now the problem I'm having is when I'm listing new items, like here's one I just listed, okay? Watch. It's showing that all these countries are excluded and that should not be. Now what I think I can trace it back to, let me show you something. This is a problem that has just manifested itself the last week or so. And Jesus, man, I don't know how these things just magically appear, but I'm going to scroll down to shipping. Now look, right here, shipping policy. This never used to be this way, okay? I don't get it. Why did they change this? Look at this. Look, I can't tell what's going on with a shipping policy. I don't know which one. This is ridiculous. Look, this particular item is a lightweight item, and I want to send it USPS parcel. All right. However, I think <clears throat> that this is triggering the exclusions, even though it clearly says right here that my item is going to be included in eBay international shipping. Now, when I click these three dots here, 
Let's say I want to edit the policy. This, listen carefully to what I'm going to say. I'm going to try and say this without cursing. It is impossible to do. Okay? I have tried this numerous times. All right? I have one item here. Look, it's coming up, no international shipping, and I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, if I click here, it wants me to enter a rate and a service. I'll show you. <clears throat> and this should not be because the eBay International Delivery Program is supposed to be handling this for me. Why do I need to do this? All right. Why? Why? I don't get it. Now, now there's a possibility that in, in addition to being cute, Joey, I'm stupid, Joey. But Jesus Christ on the cross in Brooklyn, I have wasted enough time trying to figure out this nonsense. I have showed you that I'm enrolled in the eBay International Delivery Program. I have no countries excluded. Yet, it has something to do with these shipping policies of why I am not able to list certain items. I can't tell one of these from the other. You know, they don't even owe up a first class anymore. Why is this even still here? Now you're going to say, well, Joe, you can edit your shipping policies. Now again, now again, I'm going to respectfully say no. I can't. I tried that, and when I click on the delete policy, it says you can't delete this policy because you have three items that are currently employing this policy. All right. Guys, <clears throat> I think over the years I've given you guys a crap load of valuable information, and I would like it if somebody, anybody, can stop what they're doing and slowly tell me how to fix this. All right? I've showed you my preferences, all right? Do you want to go back and see them again? All right? Look, I'm enrolled. Yay! And the International Shipping Program. I have no exclusions. Yay! But a lot of my items are not showing up. And yes, I've tried the bulk editing tool. Oh, I left something out. I called eBay Concierge last week, and they had absolutely no answer for me. Guys, <clears throat> I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. Thank you for watching this video. To rehash, I have two questions I would like to hear from you. One. Go back to your buyer requirements and please tell me how many deadbeat bidders were excluded this month alone for having too many item, unpaid item strikes. And number two, for Christ's sake, can anybody figure out the mystery of why some of my items are being excluded from the International Delivery Program? Guys, thank you for watching. Rock on and peace.